Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome back to my channel, Rochelle's Plans. I am so excited and so very thankful to have been invited by Tamara, the Paper and the Pen Girl collaboration, Planner, Rut, and Planner Funk. So if Lauren over at Plan with Laura sent you over here to my channel, just leave a comment in the description below and just let me know. If you are new to my channel, I am a wife, I am a full-time employee, and a mom of three. I've been decorative planning since 2018 when my daughter, my oldest daughter, showed me a Pinterest board of all these decorative planners and I have been hooked ever since. So after that, guess what we did? We got in the car and we went to Michael's and I bought my first ever happy planner. I think at that time I bought the big happy planner and I bought whatever stickers there were out then I bought those stickers and a lot of other planner supplies after I watched a series of videos and I just got hooked hook line and sinker I started out with a happy planner and that was where I was for years I only plan in the happy planner and it was fine everything was great right until I hit a planner rut now is a planner rut and planner funk the same thing now I do think they go hand in hand but they are a little bit different right so a planner rut I feel has to do with your supplies the planner right a planner funk I feel has to deal with you right your emotions how you're feeling about how you're feeling about the planner now I have personally experienced a planner rep before not necessarily a planner funk because I have always planned now I'm not saying I plan every day that's just because life gets in the way however I've experienced a planner rut and there are several factors that go into if and when you get into a planner rut now if you've never been in a planner rut before drop it in the description box or drop it down below in the comment section to let us know that way those who have not and those who have that way we can not get in the planner rut so planner rut if you guys have been following me then you know that like i said i was a um or i still am well not only but i was a diehard happy planner however when covid hit we started working from home I was um my first love was the classic vertical happy planner now i did start in the big but i noticed very soon that that was too big for me and it didn't work for me at the time now i plan in the classic vertical happy planner but when we started working from home and i just noticed that i needed another planner because my classic wasn't necessarily working for me because we weren't going anywhere we weren't really doing anything we were just stuck in the house right just like everybody else was and i didn't need my mini on the go planner why because we weren't going anywhere we were in the house so that is when i opted for to try another planner watch a series of videos i've uh, subscribed to different instagram channels who use different uh different planners and i was using aaron condren um plum paper moxie life right so in early 2021 is when i ordered my first ever plum paper planner now i started out with the a5 daily the mini wasn't working anymore because when we started to go out i needed more room for my to do's and my tracking i also wanted to just try something else anyway i wanted to try something i wanted to try something different i am a very loyal person when it comes to brands however the older i get the more less inclined i am 
to just stick with something that doesn't work for me. And when I found that it didn't work for me anymore, then I wanted to change it up and try something different. Not necessarily getting rid of my happy planner, but just trying something new. And let me tell you, my Plum Paper 7x9 Hourly Planner, I love it. So if something is not working for you, step back, take inventory to see why is this not working for me? Why do I not like this? What's going on? Why am I not planning? Why am I not picking up my planner? How long has it been since I've planned? Start thinking about those things and try to see what you can do to incorporate something else that would get you back into planning. Look at your why. You always want to think about your why. Why did I start planning in the first place? Is it that you wanted to track your uh, or track your meals? Okay, you want to do meal planning, or do you have kids that are in sports like I do, and that way you can track your kids, you, your your kids' activities and their sports, or do you just want to decorative plan, or do you just want to be a functional planner, or are you a minimalist planner? So all of those things, take those things into account, and then assess reassess and take action so planner rut planner funk we all have been there maybe maybe not all of us but like i said if you have not experienced it then leave it in the comments down below on what you do what you do to stay out of it right any tips that you have because we are a community and we go pretty much through the same things and we want to help each other out as much as possible. So back to what I was saying, if a planner is not working for you, then try something else. Try a different layout, try a different style, try a different planner company and just see if that works for you or how that works. Try it for a month or try it for at least 21 days, right? So try to have it for 21 days to see how it works. If it doesn't work, if you don't like it, then you can go back to your original planner and see how that works. If not, then you can try something else. Or better yet, you can try good old pen and paper. You know what? Sometimes it takes the simplicity of us to plan and get rid of the stickers, get rid of the fancy planners, and just take pen to paper and write out our to-do list. I had I did that last week. I took my pen and my paper and also post-it notes and I wrote out my to-dos on post-it notes. It's what I used to do. So, and that worked. That worked for me. And it may work for you also. Just try pen and paper. Just try different things. Like I said, now be careful because it can get a little bit expensive if you try everything, right? But do everything in moderation. Always remember that as well. Do everything in moderation. I hope I was able to drop some nuggets with you guys and share my experience. Hopefully that will help you if you are in a planner rut, planner funk situation. Let's get out of it. And let's get back to loving our planners and also remember your why. Why are you planning? Let's just remember that. Again, I am so very excited to have been a part of this collaboration, Planner Rut, Planner Funk, um, by Tamara over at the Paper and Pen Girl. If you have not gone over and watched her video, go over and watch her first video in the series the paper and pen girl and then before me was Laura over at plan with Laura go over and watch her video also and next up tomorrow will be Amber over at Amber plans her day so um, yeah uh, like I said I hope I was able to um, give you some tips and tricks if you are experiencing planner rep planner funk and make sure that you stay tuned for all the other collaborators. So I hope I was able to share some tips and tricks with you. If you are too or have experienced a planner rut, planner funk, and 
don't forget to go over tomorrow and watch Amber over at Amber Plans Our Day. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Playing with Rochelle. Don't forget to go over and follow and check out the video tomorrow, Amber Plans Her Day, as she will be discussing her tips and tricks on Planner Funk or Planner Rut as well. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, everybody.